Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally unboxing our first Generation 3 Monster High Dolls. These dolls have been a journey to get because the stores here in Orlando, Florida, at least near me, have not put the dolls out yet or have been putting them out like one doll at a time instead of all together. So I've been getting a different character like every other day, which is kind of crazy, but also kind of fun because you don't know like, you know, what the day is going to bring and what doll I'm going to find that day. But I had to start off with the best set from Generation 3 in my opinion opinion, which is the Deuce and Frankie Coffee Break 2-pack. I think this is the best Frankie doll to ever be released. She is so fierce from head to toe. But I found these dolls at Target and they retail for about 49 US dollars. So let's jump straight into this review. We'll take a look at them in the box first, of course. So it's just like a big plastic window box with a cardboard background. We see Deuce and Frankie there with all their accessories and pets. On the side, it says Monster High, and then we have Deuce and Frankie's 2D artwork there for Generation 3, and it says Deuce and Frankie Coffee Break. And on the back, instead of the 2D artwork, we have some prototype shots of Deuce and Frankie with the coffee bean playset there in the background. And over here, it says Deuce and Frankie Coffee Break playset. Frankie needs a Spookachino ASAP. Deuce quickly whips up a drink so Frankie can jolt and bolt to class. Yeah, these are the ghouls. Let's go ahead and take them out of the box, get a better look at them, and we'll also do some comparisons with the older generation dolls. All right, and here are Frankie and Deuce out of the box. Now, before I show off their accessories, I do got to point out that Generation 3, as of right now, with these first releases that are coming out for the movie and for the TV show, they do not come with doll stands. What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the I reason? Just I just explained the reason. What was the reason? So I currently have mine on like just the regular Monster High male doll stands with the thicker peg because the dolls are different shapes and sizes in Generation 3 so their waists are a little bit thicker than Generation 1. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories they come with first. They come with a lot of accessories. So first off we have Frankie's pet. Now I believe this is supposed to be Watsit, or in Generation 3 they're calling them Watsi. I haven't unboxed my signature Frankie yet, but I'll do a little side comparison of what the new Watsit looks like. Alright, so here is Watsit, or Watsi, in the signature Frankie Stein. So they are quite different, they're just really missing their wings. So I'm gonna say they're the same character, but I kind of want to say they're also different characters. Like, I feel like this is a different dog than Watsi. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the TV show if she has more than one Franken dog. And then if you're curious, here is a side-by-side -side of a Generation 1 Frankie's Watsit with the Generation 3. Yeah, they're quite different, completely new molds. And then we have Deuce's Pet Rat. I forget their name, but I'll put it on the screen when I do my research when I am editing. I believe this is the same pet that Deuce had in Generation 1. I was never really a Deuce fan, I didn't have the original Deuce, and I just really didn't pay attention to him in Generation 1 as a whole. I just felt like he was a very forgettable character in Generation 1. Now since I don't have the original Deuce from Generation 1, I don't have his pet to compare to, but there they are, their little rat. And in the box, the little rat comes on this like snake motorcycle. It's green with silver and black wheels and this little coffin bean box. And it does open up to put like drinks in there. It's like a little cooler and it does come off of the motorcycle so you can use it separately. I'm sure the dolls can hold it with that little holder as well. And then we have this eye coffin tablet which will go great with the coffin bean playset. It says pick up for Frankie. She ordered she ordered four drinks. It's like one for Claudine, Draculaura herself, and then just like a random. They do match the drinks that come with the set as well. I'll show those in just a minute. And then the holder for the tablet is like this stone type of texture with a cobweb on the back. And we have this cute little muffin with pink frosting and a green plate with little holders so the dolls can hold it. And the muffin can come off. It actually comes in like three different pieces. So the top comes off and then you can take off the base. 
and then you can just have the muffin by themselves and not on the plate. And then for the drinks, here is a pink cup with vampire fangs on it. This must be Draculaura's, and it looks like it's a boba tea. There are the little dots there on the bottom, and the top does open up. And then we have Frankie's drink here with the lightning bolt. Looks like she's drinking a coffee, and there's like a little spill mark on the side, and the lid also comes off of the top. And then here is Claudine's drink. It's more of like a purple violet color with the moon symbol there, and the top does come off as well. And then here is a green cup with some wolf prints on it. It's the same mold as Frankie's cup with that little spill mark on the side. And then we have this translucent green cup holder with a little skullette symbol in the middle and it can hold all four cups but they don't really sit in there snugly so they do kind of like jiggle around a little bit. I wish there was like little handles on the side so the dolls can hold the tray because there's really nothing for them to hold onto. And there's also like little drip marks on the side which is so adorable. The detail is really really nice. And then Frankie comes with her eye coffin. It says order ready and it's like screen printed. It's not a sticker so it is a little pixelated. There's a little handle on the side for the doll to hold it and the back is a heart with lightning bolts and there is a stitch in the center and it's a blue color and then Frankie comes with this silver handbag with a chain handle and pink blue and green lightning bolts and it's like a very squishy rubber and it does open up so you can put things inside and because Deuce is a gorgon he will turn people to stone without his glasses so he needs his glasses they are this like neon yellow translucent color with these little snake looking arms on the side we'll put these on him at the end of the video First off, let's go ahead and take a look at Deuce. So he does have a brand new face mold for generation three, and this time he has green skin. On camera, it looks brighter than in person. In person, it's a very light mint green. He has a darker green lip, and then he has green snake eyes with a slight look to the side with bushy green eyebrows. Now in generation three, like all their dolls have these like kind of big protruding ears, but they're really, really adorable on Deuce. And I think they're cute on all the dolls too, but it's definitely something different. And then his hair is just molded on. So he has like, just like the snake skin with his snakes laying down on the side and it's flexible. So you can, you know, put his eyeglasses on through there. And then he has this hoodie t-shirt has like a printed on snake design here in the center with like an ombre purple to orange color. His sleeves are black sheer material. He has white strings right here in the front and then he does have a hoodie and then he has this green snakeskin apron and it says coffee bean right there. It's a really nice like thick material and there's a green ribbon that velcros in the back. And then his pants are really cool. He has these like black, white, and gray sweatpants with like kind of like a foresty tree branch design. And they're really, really soft. And then he has these bright green tennis shoes with these little cool cobra snake tennis shoe tongues on the front here. And then he has these silver wing attachments that can detach from the shoe. So if you don't want them on the shoe, you can take those off. And they say Gorgon on the front. And on the bottom of his shoes, there are some more snake details on there. Now, as far as articulation, he can articulate in the head. He can articulate in the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist. And then he can articulate in the foot, the knee and the waist. He does not come with any chest articulation like the Generation 3 ghouls do. Now, I don't have a Deuce to compare him with right now because, like I said, I wasn't a fan of Deuce and I only ever owned the Dawn of the Dance Deuce because his hair was different for the time where it was like this. It was like kind of like more down on the side, which I really loved. But he was sadly stolen from me, unfortunately. But he is really awesome. And of course, we gotta save the best for last, Frankie Stein. 
Now, Frankie Stein does go by they, them pronouns in generation three. Name's Frankie, non-binary, pronouns they, them. So if I accidentally call them she, her, I apologize in advance. I'm still getting used to it. They have the new generation three face mold, the cute big ears. They have pink lips with some blush. They still have their signature scar there on the cheek. Their eyes are still green and blue. And their eye makeup, they have like yellow on the bottom and then blue on this eye and pink on this eye. And they have dark gray eyebrows. And I really love the new eyebrow texture on these dolls. They're really, really awesome. And then they have a little piercing here on their eyebrow, which kind of looks like a staple. They have these earrings, which are like bolts. And I think this is a homage to their neck bolts from generation one and two that they no longer have in generation three. And they have a silver thunderbolt hair clip and they have their signature hair color from generation one, which is just the black and white. And it's a really nice soft saran. It goes down to about past their waist. And there is a little bit of blue there in the back, which I didn't see before. It's very, very subtle though. So like if you don't like pay attention, you will definitely miss it. And they do still have their stitching there on the neck, just without the neck bolts. And they have this tie, which is plastic. It's white on the top and then a lime green for the tie. Under their jacket, they have this like kind of tube top looking shirt. There's like white here on the top and then the tube top part matches their jacket and it's like a pleather blue plaid material with some lightning bolt designs in pink. And then they have this really awesome blazer that matches the tube top, of course. It's a pleather material. It's blue plaid with pink thunderbolts with pointy shoulders, which I love. It's so 80s. And then the collar trim here on the side does have some lime green stitching. And then they have these black pleather shorts that are high waisted and then they come with this rubbery plastic chain belt that says Frankie with some little charms there on the bottom and I believe this is the same one as the signature generation 3 Frankie sign which we will get to in another video soon stay tuned for that and then their boots are incredible one boot is knee high and goes past her knee it's a hot pink and it says volt bolt zap and zip with some stitch detailing on there and the heel has like a lightning bolt with some buckles that go around and it does go past their knee. So when they bend, it kind of sticks out a little bit. And then the other shoe matches, but it is cut a little short so that way they can show off their amazing prosthetic leg. It's pretty much the same as the other boot, just of course shortened. And there is just a silver lightning bolt there on the front. And then generation three, Frankie has a prosthetic leg this time around. Which I think is so cool. It is like a silver color and there are bolts there on each sides of the knee. There is a stitch design that goes all the way down. There is this really cute little charging port with like a skullette on it. And then they have some drawings there. There's like a light bulb, a lightning bolt, their name Frankie, some more lightning bolts, Frankie's original skullette symbol, and then like a stitched heart. And as far as articulation, they can articulate in the head, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist, the knees, and they do still twist. And then of course the waist, they have articulation in the wrist, which is really awesome. And I love that so much because it's really, really good for doll photography when the dolls have chest articulation. So this is my generation one Frankie Stein from 2010. As you can see, they are quite different from one another, but still very, very similar. Like generation three Frankie still has that like preppy school 80s kind of look to her like the generation one Frankie does. And their skin colors are different this time around. Generation three Frankie has more of like a light blue skin color compared to the light green skin color of generation one. And as of height, they are about the same. Generation three Frankie is just a little bit taller. 
All right, guys and ghouls, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so excited for Generation 3, and I'm so excited for the Monster High live action movie that comes out this Thursday on Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon. So check that out when it comes out. The music so far has been incredible that they have released, and I'm so excited to have the full soundtrack and see the movie. And the animated series will be coming out on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus October 28th of this year so check that out as well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here you can also find me on all the social medias instagram and tiktok at fantastic plastic for even more doll content until next time everyone keep collecting and i'll see you soon okay bye bye now bye 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 <laughs> okay are they all going uh, is, is there is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are killing me. I can't keep smiling like this anymore. I am exhausted. I think I need a break. A little break? Okay. <sighs>